you know, walleye aren't known for their fighting abilities normally, but I find when you get them on crankbaits and they're really pumped up and they're searching for food, not only do they hit hard, but they fight really hard. Remember also, we're getting them on light outfits, spinning outfits. We're not trolling with them with like trolling rods or getting them out of deep water. So those walleyes, because they're in the upper 15 feet of the water column, have a lot of fight. I've lost a lot from the hooks being pulled out, especially when you get them on the surface. Cheryl, nice fish. He might He's have gotten diving into You the want boat. to come down here? Sure. Come on down. The air's warmer down here. <laughs> that is a nice walleye. Okay, you know what? I'm not going to mess around. Okay, now what? Okay, you ready for this? Yes. You sure you're ready? You're pumped? <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> yeah. Here, okay, go ahead. Go for okay. it. Go for it. Come on. You got to be, you got to be like. I'm going. Not, not decisive. You know what I mean? Get it under there. Get it. Get, what? What are you doing? Come on, come on. Okay, can I hold them like that? You can maybe? try, just don't get spined. Nice walleye. You know, some people are going, man, they're getting those walleye in the middle of the day. Nice sunny day. Look how nice and plump it is. Yeah. That is a gorgeous fish. <laughs> and there it goes. I was hoping it was going to soak you. Well done. So I don't know. How are your wrists? Do we like keep casting or do we go and have a nice dinner? I think a nice a dinner sounds good. Okay. Okay, let's do that. That was awesome, Cheryl. What a great day. I'm gonna put your seat back down. Okay. So that you're in a comfy position. Canadian Sport Fishing has been brought to you in part by Rapala, premium fishing gear crafted from experience. Yamaha, conquer outdoors. Dickies, quality workwear since 1922. Blue Cam, a cleaner running engine for a cleaner environment. You can see now we're in like 18 feet of water, 20 feet, and the bottom is pretty clear, just the odd weed. And you can also see our trail here, how we kind of, you know, we're drifting with the wind and I'm pulsing it a little bit. So when I've gone inside here, on that inside line, I'm too far in. I want to be right on that edge. So even though we have a hydrographic chart, the chart isn't 100% true because the weeds change. They change yearly, they change monthly, seasonally. So they die off and then you get new weed growth. So you have to really depend on seeing the weeds with the fish finder side.